Within the pages of a book, a world of magic awaits. How are you guys? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Always wonderfully blessed, Mr. Brandon. Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel like starring in a movie that the character is really written with you in mind from the very beginning? I got a copy of the book, which was from Cornelia, the author. Cornelia Funke, prolific. Published, translated to many languages. And it said, inscribed, Dear Brendan, thank you for inspiring this character of Mo. Hope you get a chance to read it to your kids one day. Sincerely yours, Cornelia Funke. I thought someone was playing a joke on me. I didn't know. I read it. I thought it's a fantastic book. Met her. Uh, we worked on screenplay, took it to studios, etc. And now we have a movie. So, uh, what can I say? I'm pleased, flattered, and very happy. And, and it doesn't happen every day of like one's career, from what I'm told, mm. that you get to work with really talented people, like Eliza Hope there you Bennett. Go. Miss, Miss Eliza also experienced that, right? Out of so many hopefuls, you were chosen. You're the chosen one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think when you're going through the audition process, especially at my age, you have no idea how many people have auditioned. You have no idea whether you're the first or the thousandth person to have been auditioned. So it's only kind of afterwards where I've heard what Ian said about the audition process. But for me, you sort of... All you can do is sort of just go in and try your best and then just hope for the best. Cause we couldn't have made the movie without Eliza. That's very nice. It's you true. Know. She spearheads the cast. Aww. This is the story of a little girl who seeks to... And you're a young woman now, okay? <laughs> but when I met her, she was still looking... She's a little girl. She's still a little girl who's, who's, who, who's, who's, who seeks to reunite her family along with her father and the fantastic journey that they take along with it. Aww. And it hits on the greatest works of literature that we have available to us today and there's a not so subtle message in a, of promoting that of literacy and going out and reading a book. I make up stories about how you she and I... You make up stories? Maggie, you know I don't want you doing that. But I have to. <sighs> I feel like the words bring her back to me. Yeah. The written word. It's a powerful thing. What the movie really captured from the spirit of the book is that it's the magic of reading. Yeah, well said. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, that's a well good said. point, yeah. Also, it's about reading to a family member, to a friend. So did anyone re read to you guys as a child? Yeah. I, read, I read to my kids. Yeah, I'm sure my parents read to me. I don't remember which books, but yes, I, do. I think it's important, the, the power of the spoken word. And especially it's, it, it, parents, a child, you know, I, I don't know, teacher to student, et cetera, et cetera. It, amongst each other, there's, Why? it's a unifying effect, it's a bonding kind of experience. If you guys are real silver tongues, which literary characters will you guys bring out to life? Who? Well, I've said this a thousand times, but my favorite character in the book is Inkheart, in Inkheart is Toto. <laughs> so I would have to get the Wizard of Oz out and bring oh, Toto out. I'm going to the unicorn. <laughs> That's I'm, true. Why not? He's quite cool though. He's kind of cool. I'm going to read a unicorn out. I'll bring Tinkerbell out. She and Tinkerbell? I can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this party dance. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You got it. Thank you. All right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tinkerbell. <laughs>